Hello everybody, I am Fox, and this time on Scratch, I have created something that displays text in your own personalized font however you want. Basically how it works is you have one character, you have one sprite for the character, and then he has a bunch of costumes for all the characters that it can become. Surprisingly, there's no easy way to do this. You have the say command in looks, but that comes in one font and surrounded by its speech bubble. It comes from a specific sprite, and I just don't like it all that much for all purposes. So I like this, and basically you can create any text you want at any position you want in your own personalized font. So let me give you a demonstration. We just type in input, like we pick up blocks, and it'll type it on the screen. It is a little bit slow, but there's nothing to be helped. It's as fast as it's going to get. Now, how does it work? This is all the code here. Basically, I'm just using the ask command, and then I have this more blocks function that I'm using to create text at a position. And basically what this will do is that this one character, Sprite, will hide, and then he will go to that position, then he's going to set place to one and set length to length of text. Basically what this is doing is place is how far into the string of the input we are, and length is how long our input is. So place is where we are, length is how long it is. So we're repeating as many times as this, the input is long, we're switching costume to letter place of text. This will basically, when we're at a certain place, is going to switch the costume to the corresponding character in costumes. Then we're going to create clone of myself and change place by one. So we'll go on to the next thing. Now when I start as a clone, you're going to show and then change X by this big thing. Basically what this is doing is it's making it so the text is centralized around the location that you put in here. And what it's doing is it's changing X by length divided by 2 minus place times negative 10. Basically what this is doing is it's subtracting length divided by 2, so half of the length, minus place, how far we are, times negative 10. So if you have a place that's less than, less than half, it'll be far, it'll be negative x from the position, and if it's more than halfway, it'll be positive x from that position. That's really it for now. Thanks everybody for watching, and I hope you use this later in some cool projects. Bye.